I noticed this guy back there with a set of binoculars. People always show up at my shows with those things. I wonder if they do that at Dolly's shows. Guess they don't need them at Dolly's shows. You know, last year on my birthday, Dolly said I could come out to Las Vegas and celebrate my birthday and watch her do her show in one of those big fancy showrooms out there. I forget which one of those big hotels it was, but I went out there and I was sitting out in the audience and I was all dressed up and she got right up on stage in front of everybody and told them that we used to pee in the bed when we was little. Well, you know how she is. She'll say anything. <laughs> then she pointed me out back there and had him to put the spotlight on me. And she said, didn't we, Stella? <laughs> of course, I had to go along with it because it was the truth and we already looked stupid. So I said, <laughs> but she neglected to tell everybody that we not only wet the bed, but we used to fight over who peed the biggest circle. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? Too much Kool-Aid. Another gun smoke fan. And everywhere I go, people always request one or two of Dolly's songs, and actually they request all they can. And I'm real proud of the fact that Dolly is one of the finest songwriters in the world, I think. <laughs> and I decided I'd put one of her songs in my show that is a true story song, and it is one of my favorites. And uh, when we was little, we used to also write songs, and we used to fight over who wrote the best line. And I'll have to admit, Dolly always wrote the best line, but I always peed the biggest circle. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, that's a fancy guitar, isn't it? Thanks to the Washburn Company. Ooh, this dress is short. <laughs> Bill, I'm going to have to sit this way, okay? Are you comfortable? Back through the years I go wandering once again Back to the seasons of my youth I recall a box of rags someone gave us and how my mama put the rags to use there were rags of many colors and every piece was small and I didn't have a goal it was a way down in the fall mama sewed the rags together so in every piece with love she made my coat of many colors I was so proud of As she sewed she told a story From the Bible that she'd read About a coat of many colors Joseph wore and then she said Perhaps this coat will bring you Good luck and happiness And I just couldn't wait to wear it And Mama blessed it with a kiss My coat of many colors That my Mama made for me Made only from rags But I wore it so proudly had no money but I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors mama made for me made just for me
Thank you. Oh, boy.